There is only one Lenny Hart. Yeah. No matter how hard they try to duplicate him. You cannot duplicate yeah. either one. I need to uh, apologize real quick to uh, champ champ Ryan Bader. I said earlier <laughs> Team Mo is the champ of 205 because I remember Bader winning the heavyweight tournament yep. for Bellator. I forgot that B Bader is actually champ, champ of 205. Yep. And, uh, and, uh, so light heavyweight and heavyweight. And I apologize, Ryan, for screwing that up. Please, please don't hit me when I say that. <laughs> Ryan's a great guy. He's a fantastic individual. But he's still Actually, I might <laughs> antagonize him to hit you. Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> here we go. This is for the strap. Elbows are allowed in this fight here. It is only three rounds, by the way. Five minutes per round. We've seen these two compete before. 2015, it ended with a King Mo victory just over five minutes in. A knockout, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Mo's really good. Staying in the pocket, keeping that constant pressure on. But he's got to keep his defense up. Because Prohaska will throw from weird angles, different times, different pacing. It makes it very difficult to train for because he doesn't have a real rhythm to his punches. He no, come at you. you're absolutely correct. A lot of guys, if you really watch a guy fight, he's got a rhythm, he has a pattern that he follows. Prohaska does it. He'll switch stances on you all the time. And at a surface level, looking at this fight here, you would think that the King will be taking down Prohaska at will. Prohaska's got this penchant for just always getting back up. Wash, rinse, repeat until somebody gets tired. And that's the thing is that it, it's exhausting if you're always taking the guy down and always gets back up to his feet again. So then it becomes a point of like, oh, why haven't bothered taking him down? He's just going to get back up. It doesn't, it's not really scoring you in terms of the scorecard. And so right now, Mo has kind of thought that process out from the very beginning. If not him, then Steve Mockaway and Mike Brown are both able to score him. Right well, Mockaway is, I need to know if Steve is still in there or not. Gauging the distance here. Mo was able to get that job and join the overhand right. Ooh, a little slap right there. A little stalk and slap. Sure, King Mo will call it something else. That thing that worked. <laughs> Right hand there thrown by Prohaska. He's starting to pick up the pace. You're starting to get that, that jitter. Yeah, he's starting to move a lot more. Yeah. The shakiness. No staying in the pocket though, Frank. Going to the right there. He's chasing a little bit. Good job by Prohaska using that footwork. Now he's coming in with the jumping knee. Yeah, took a punch for it. Trying to push him back, we'll fake the takedown, threw a right hook. Wow, that's a great job of getting out of the way of all the punches. Yep. Under two minutes to go here. King Mo just ate a job, working on just getting out of the way. Body shot landed by King Mo. Prohaska is just keeping it outside. Circling away from the power. Mo's trying to tap, you know, obviously time the head movement there. Yeah, his um, the biggest issue is that his right, Mo's right arm, the way he's throwing his right overhand, it's not straight. So he's very short every time he throws a punch. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose to try to draw Prohaska in or if it's a flaw in his game plan right now. He's landing square with that jab, though. You can hear his corner. King Mo's corner is saying, put him on his back. Level change, put him on his back. Good kick landed by Mo, winding up there, trying to get that punch. Now, has got him in the corner now. Look for another jumping knee. No. King Mo gets out of dodge. Wants nothing to do with it. On oh, a right hand Ooh. landed there by Pohaska. 40 seconds to go here. You hear the 
You're the corner, Frank. Take him down, yeah. Mo. Take him down, Mo. He's got to take him down. He's trying to get lit up a little bit. Yes, sir. He's blocking every other one. He's saying, don't risk it, Mo. Get the takedown. Mo staying there in the pocket. Looking for that jab, looking for that left hook. Ten seconds to go. Both guys throwing the right hand. Bobbing and weaving. King Mo bobbing and weaving there. Round one is in the book, scheduled for three. One of these two gentlemen will walk away the first ever light heavyweight champion for Ryzen. Joe Ferraro here alongside Frank Trigg, Yokohama Arena. Frank, if you are in the corner of King Mo, what are you telling him? You can't take the risk of standing in front of him anymore. He's woken up. You got to attack. You got to attack. The only way for you to attack, effectively, wrestle. Get inside. Make it a little dirty. Start doing some quick sweeps. Start getting him off balance. You hit him a couple times. He fell off balance. He fell down. Use that to your advantage when you leg kick him. Like you see right here, he leg kicked him. He put him down, but he attacked his head. He didn't attack his legs. He's got to shoot like a real wrestler, like a wrestler would. That's Mo's biggest attribute. He needs to use a lot more. And if you're for Hawkins Corner, keep up doing what you're doing. You got to keep that movement going. You got to keep him away from your, keep away from your legs. It's the biggest thing for him, if he stays off his back, he's for sure can win this fight. If he doesn't get put on his back, it's very hard to beat a guy like Prohaska because the way he moves, the way he angles, you hardly ever hit him. Seconds out. Staring at each other, laughing at each other, smiling at each other. Prohaska is just amped up right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, yeah. it's, all, it's hitting our arms, though. Yep. He's got to find a way to sneak behind him. Get behind the jail. I think you know, as soon as Prohaska's back hit the ropes, he immediately circled out. He's, I think he's sensing the fact that Mo's trying to just sort of pin him back. Here's the takedown attempt there. King Mo. Looking for the double, sprawl there by Prohaska. Now a guillotine attempt for head control here by King Mo. Pass the head, you don't have it. Go again, go again right away. <laughs> he feels good about getting out of the takedown. It's a lesson for everyone at home. You try a big attempt, the guy blocks it, he stops it, he spends all that energy stopping it. Then you do it again to him, he's like, he takes that moment of like, oh, I, I beat it, I can, I can hold off now. Psychological. Then you do it to him right again, he's like, oh, geez, I have to fight this off again. Is he slowing down, Frank? I think so, yeah. Superman punch there attempted by Prohaska. Looking for that left hook, there it is. Hey, got it. Most of the combinations, but could be a good entry point for a takedown there. Prohaska does a really good job of getting out of the way and corner off. Yep. So you know he's in a corner away from you, so keep attacking the head, keep punching the head, let him circle off, and that's when you shoot. Or as he's punching, you shoot. Careful when you see Prohaska bending like that. There's a flying knee coming down the pipe. His feet have to be stationary when he shoots. Oh, he's shoot. landing that right hook yeah. twice. And Mo's not moving out of that corner. He's got too much, he's got a high pace. I don't think Mo can keep him with the pace. That's yep. the problem. Prohaska just keeps throwing. Cap kick by King Mo. Keep that left hand up. Switch right, back right. Right up the middle of the free kick is Prohaska. Now he's got King Mo in the corner. Right hand thrown. You gotta stay in his face. Yep. One punch is gonna work. Sit behind the jab, throw a couple of hooks. Looks like King Mo has lost a snap from his jab. He's throwing the arm out there. Nice right landed there by King Mo. Prohaska acknowledges it. Cut him. Two minutes to go here. King 
no, no, if it was open now, Frank. Yeah, he's trying to get back some air. Right, there's a kick cut up for Hoska. That right hand split him up. He's only, he's only attempting any kind of takedown. Yep. Just that one, and he got beat off it. Blood's in the eye. You can see him for Hoska wiping it off. Clash of heads there. There's a left there right for Hoska. He's staying close, though. He's keeping it in the phone booth. And now the referee's going to look at this. This... Not stop this fight for a title. Yeah, I know. It's the worst I mean, way to win a title gotta, fight. Yeah. Like you want to get find some kind of completion. Yeah, I get safety, 100%. But we just want to see a conclusion in this fight here. Roscoe's <laughs> already come out of the corner. The fight does continue. He's got nothing Minute but 15. Sorry? Cross has got nothing but action. He doesn't know how to shut down. Even if you know, you're on a break, he doesn't take a break. Yeah. Smart move by Mo there. He's keep tagging that eye. And stay in the, stay in the space. Oh, nice uppercut to Rafa wow. Hoska, loading it up again. Here's the sense of urgency in King Mo's corner, barking out their instructions. Oh, Prohaska just moving his eyes around, confusing King Mo, and then throwing that right. Oh, front kick right to the face. Kick oh, floating wow. up there. Right up cut left hook. Hoska now. Ten seconds to go. Well, has to do a great job of attacking, keep him on his heels. Right hand again. Missed on that one. Two rounds in the books. Wow. I mean, it'd be crazy to judge a fight on two rounds, but. Prohaska's ahead. Yeah, right now. He's pushing the pace. He's got more, doing more. Um, even though Mo did more visible damage with the cut, he's still doing more pressing the pace, um, doing more overall damage. Prohaska is. I mean, that was just a punch that was landed by Mo. There it is right there, right? He was able to connect it and immediately split him open. Yeah, it was, it was instantaneous. Right How tired is Mo right now in that corner? He's now under pressure. Third and final round. That's five minutes of you having to keep the pressure up. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. And there goes Lenny Hart. He's going to start yelling at someone, Frank. Oh, no, they're getting Get out. The <laughs> All you guys. Here we go. There goes the takedown attempt here by King Mo. Now a knee here by Prohaska. Stuffed the takedown. Great sprawl. And there's King Mo landing that right again. Start with a quick hook. There by Prohaska. Mo's not backing away, Frank. Prohaska does a good job to push his way in, push his way out. Left to Gary Single. No, he almost had that. Oh, 
he's trapped in the corner, Frank. Yeah. You hear King Mo's corner saying, fast hands, fast hands, fast hands, but he's not able to react. Mutual respect by both fighters. Yep, talk it out. Yeah. Oh, and a right hand landed there. Right in the ear. Mo answering back with the right hand. Slip by Prohaska. They continue to throw leather to each other. Just the power is not there for either guy. Well, Prohaska throws so many punches, it kind of overwhelms him. He doesn't really need to have any power. Punches by numbers. His elbow attempt there. Spinning elbow there. Mo saw it coming. He hasn't thrown a punch. No. Nope. And Prohaska's landing combinations here. King Mo's footwork is all but gone here. It's been about 35 seconds, 40 seconds. Yeah. He hasn't thrown a punch. Still two minutes and 50 seconds here. King Mo's exhausted, Frank. He's not moving at all. He's just staying in that full move, throwing punches, following Prohaska around, but he's punching back. This is how we beat him the first time. Always just standing. He'll go out in his shield, yeah. Frank. He will go out in his shield. He's exhausted. He's not moving. You can see that left hook that landed on King Mo's right ear. Oh, legs wobbly there. Just barely, barely get a takedown in. And now Prohaska's basically could technically be paying, playing target practice here. King Mo covering up. King Mo's covering up. Prohaska's going in there for the finish. Down goes. It's over. Yeah. We have a new. Light heavyweight champion here at Ryzen. King Mo just simply was fatigued. Prohaska noticed it, picked up the pace, and ended the fight. Wow, I mean, Mo just got tired. I mean, that's really what happened. He just got tired. He got outworked. King Mo just dropped, got punched, just could not take it anymore. Now, Prohaska does get that title. In his pre-fight interviews, he said, if I have to go to Bellator to defend this thing, I will. I will represent Ryzen anywhere Ryzen wants me to represent them. Well, they're one and one. Yeah, we do a, we do a match. For sure. I'm good with that. Are you surprised that King Mo fatigued the way he did, or was yeah, he just simply? Yeah, I am. No, I'm, yeah. I'm very surprised. Yeah. Let's so take a look at it that. here, because his footwork was gone at this point here, right? And then Prohaska just understands that he knew it was the end was coming, so he just kept chasing it. Even the referee said, "You know what? I think that, that's that's quality refereeing right there, knowing when one of the fighters is just simply no longer moving, and this fighter is going down here. I mean, I, I don't even think it was a powerful punch that knocked him down. It was just simply Mo." fatigued and saying, oh my goodness, can't take it's us anymore. It's just the volume. Prohaska yeah. just has a, such a huge volume that he throws. It's almost like the Diaz brothers. He says a huge amount of punches he throws every round, and to be honest with you, 15 minutes of, of a guy throwing you know, 150 punches at you, yep. I don't care how good you are defensively, eventually he's going to catch you, and if you if you don't throw anything back, you're obviously going to lose the round, so you have to throw back as soon as you open to get hit. I'll take that back. During that last replay there, two of those punches to Prohaska did land pretty hard. Yeah. They got, they got around the guard. Yep. Let's see what he has to say now. He's got the belt around his waist. He also gets a trophy by Sakaki Barasan. Big trophy. What's the secret of putting that one in your suitcase? You don't. They give you a box. <laughs> you have to put it in, the, in the overhead. Yeah. It's kind of what mine looks like in Pride 8. Uh, happy as they love him here. Yeah. They absolutely love him here. He's more Japanese than most Japanese folks. That, well, if you watch the Rise in Confessions, the production crew and some of the subtitles they had were apologizing profusely yeah. to Prohaska. They had no idea. They flat out said we had no idea how much this guy knows about the Japanese culture, how much he loves the Japanese culture, how much of it he lives. People think it's an obsession. It's not an obsession to him. It's a way of life. I mean, he's, he's read the, the Book of Five Rings, I think, something like 20 times. They showed a, his, his copy of the book 
on the rise in confessions. That thing is worn out. Yeah. Get a digital copy so there. ありがとう。まずは、この この3年間の間、え、以前キングモースに敗れてから、どうやったら彼を倒すことができるのか、これを目的に。そして私は日本で何回か試合をしている間に、だんだんと自分のパフォーマンスを さらにより高く、より これからの目的はこのチャンピオンベルトに恥じないように自分の技術をさらに磨き、そしてこのチャンピオンという役割を維持していくことです。私は最後にファンの皆さんにメッセージをお願いいたします。Thank you. There you have it. We apologize. Frank's check and my Spanish just weren't building on this one here. With all due respect, though, we did uh, our, our, our translator uh, has not been available. He's been uh, dealing with the Manny Pacquiao team, yeah. making sure that they are taken care of. I like to thank all the fans for coming out here. I like to thank my team, America Top Team. The best team in the world. I like to get my friend Logan, Twan, Sheree, and my oldest daughter came to see me fight for the first time. Thank you for coming, Justice and Megan. Uh, hey, Jerry's a good young champ, and he'll be defending that belt for a long time. Thank you, Rising, for having me, and uh, keep on putting these good shows. Hey, Rising, I'm